welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video we've got a zara haul today i've got some new in bits i've got some homeware bits to show you as well it is glorious sunshine outside today as i am filming this it's actually quite warm so make sure you have your favorite iced drink at the ready or cozy hot drink with some snacks whatever you fancy and let's get into today's video so before i show you the zara bits i also have some new finds which i have to share with you the excitement when i open this package guys you'll know why regular viewers will know why so Halara very kindly reached out and offered to send me some of their kind of like active wear lounge wear gym wear the kind of apparel that you guys know I love there's a top end brand that I particularly love and then I like to find a dupe alternative so like leggings sports tops but comfy that I can wear not just for working out but also just for like around the house so I've got quite a selection of things to show you. I will leave links to them all individually down in the description box below if you want to just simply shop through. And I do also have a discount code for you guys. If you want to get 15% off, you just use the code FREYF15 at checkout. And yeah, you can save yourself some money. So Halara um, have just such a wide selection from um, dresses, leggings, tops, joggers to shorts which is definitely something I wanted to get my hands on a couple of pairs of because I like to go on the odd jog with my dog along the canal and just soak in the sunshine when it's warm. And ordinarily, most of the year, I wear leggings to go on a run, but when the sun's out, I just want to get that extra sun on my legs. So I wanted to pick up some shorts. So I'll show you the shorts that I picked up first. I actually got two pairs of shorts in the same design, but in different colors. So these are made from 82% nylon, 18% elastane. So very, they're very uh, stretchy, forgiving and comfy. They're like a second skin kind of fabric, which is what I love. I got the shorts in a medium in both colors. And for me, I'm typically a size, I would say a size 10 and medium for the shorts fit. They fit perfect. It's quite a thick waistband on these shorts, which I like. Got the green pair as well. I've got quite a few like active wear in this kind of color. I do quite like khaki. Black is still my go-to. They do a couple of like signature kind of materials, fabrics, finishes, which I wanted to mention. They've got the cool effect denim, kit denim, but cloud full, which is like super buttery soft, but also genius. The, I think it's called Pat It Off, which is essentially pet resistant to be able to, I have a golden retriever, to be able to wear black and simply just pat it off. I'll show you um, a couple of leggings that I got. As you can tell, I got quite the selection because I just wanted to recommend all the different styles, try them all out for you. So this one is like a pretty generic, um, kind of better suited to work out because it's got these side pockets, so good for like popping your phone in. It's also got this crossover waistband, which is really flattering, but also really comfortable. Simple legging and the color is like this kind of khaki green, olive green, love them. And these ones I got in a medium. I got everything in a medium. If I've got anything in a different size, I'll tell you. So I've got this same crossover pair, I've got like a hidden pocket type section at the back so you can pop like key or whatever in this it goes that deep so it's quite deep yeah these ones are the super flare so i did also get just like a standard flare i know quite a lot of people are starting to wear the um flared leggings and honestly i think they're really flattering i prefer the standard one and then i did also get one other pair of standard flare leggings but this time in the ribbed fabric so this one has that ribbing which again popular brand that i love for leggings but very expensive you guys will know what i'm talking about they've also brought out recently their new flared range as well as their ribbed range so this guys is such an affordable alternative i did also get a slightly different style of legging these ones are more of like a jogger so again they've got the really thick waistband but they've also got a drawstring to cinch it in and also the cuffed bottoms just make them a little bit more jogging like so as for the tops i got quite a few kind of like strappy bralette tops which i'll wear with my shorts and my leggings from my runs and also obviously just day to day but then i also got this one it's a bit out of season because it is long sleeved but i thought for in winter months this would be really nice again for going on runs just to have that extra warmth so it's got this extra added detail around the neck which just adds something and it's got again a really nice thick 
waistband so it is cropped this one it's got padding in it as well which is removable should you wish these ones i do live in a lot these kind of like strappy um crop top bra tops this one comes quite low which i like so i wouldn't need to wear like a top over the top of it i know some people do run in just a sports bra i only really do that when it's like high summer and really warm again it's got the padding it's got a slight kind of racer back style on the back so i got um this also in a different color for me i kind of regretting not getting them exact matching leggings i think i might or shorts maybe even like cycle shorts for like again when it's really hot just pottering around the house doing the gardening getting your tan on and i also got this style in two colors the black and the green so i could wear these with my matching black and green shorts double strap on either side and then it kind of crosses over at the back now from that white band there like a supportive band underneath so one other item i want to share, share with you which is a bit of a rogue one for me a bit of a wild card but i thought i would get it to show you guys and include anyway because yet again i've seen the kind of like popular yoga brands and things bringing out these kind of like tennis dress style workout gear or like again loungewear however you want to wear it so i really liked this one because it is kind of a two-in-one so you get two pieces with this so the first item that you get is like the base layer which is as you can tell there, shorts it's kind of like a little mini play suit again with padding it does also have pockets on the side so again if you wanted to pop your phone in and then you can wear that on its own but you could also throw over the top layer you could i suppose wear this on its own just in the summer again in the garden or just as a nice little black day dress so they are all of my new halara finds if you want to check them out via the links in my description box make sure to not Forget that I have the discount code for you guys to get you 15% off full price items. It is Freya F15. So happy shopping. Enjoy, you guys. Without further ado, I'll show you the Zara bits now. I've got some homeware. I know in my last Zara haul, a few of you were um, mentioning that you do quite like me to include the homeware bits as well, homeware finds. So I did get some goodies today really happy with them before i jump into that i'll share with you this dress that i'm wearing i don't believe it is available unless they've restocked it because it did sell out but it's from lydia tomlinson's collection with naked fashion she's my bestie i'm actually going to see her in a couple of hours for a coffee and catch up so i'm going to take the dogs for a walk um but yeah so so proud of her her collection is fab it's the second one that she's done with naked and they very kindly let me pick out an item so i picked this dress I'll still leave a link to her collection on naked fashion down below and then all of the zara links will also be left in the description box so be sure to check things out for like updated prices sizing and everything like that so where do i start do i start with fashion or homeware so this first dress i got i got one similar to this in an ms haul that i did recently i ended up sending that one back I just didn't fully like the fit of it and then i spotted this one it's a slightly deeper kind of cornflower blue and I just think lovely, lovely colour for spring and summer. This dress is in a small and it's got like the option to have straps on or off. You can take them off, which I quite like for, again, tanning purpose as like a little day dress. It's lovely. It's a nice like maxi kind of length. I've got quite a few nice summery dresses for this haul. So I definitely need to be ruthless and send some back. So this one's really pretty. It's got like a lacy kind of crochet design. The straps are beautiful and it's kind of like a square neck. It's got a waist, a tie waist. And I would say this one is like a midi kind of length so this one i picked up in a medium this one is a lot more floaty and lightweight very similar i guess in style in terms of the kind of crochet lacier kind of detailed it's a super soft like linen cottony feel and this one i'm imagining because this one's quite short in fact this one's very short but this one i'm imagining more as like a holiday dress beach dress the straps aren't adjustable so that is the length that it is it's really pretty though and a gorgeous fabric and that one i got in a medium bit of a wild card option for me here with this one as it is quite a bold print they had a collection of four different styles there was like a pink one which was a two-piece a blue one which was beautiful there was a green one and then this orange I think that's right um but anyway this like orange color this was the style dress that I liked most I liked all the other colors maybe pink I probably wouldn't go for pink I think 
when you've got blonde hair, you've got to be really careful going for pink and it not looking too Barbie-like. But anyway, um, I went for this style because that was my favourite. This kind of like one shoulder. I just think it's so elegant, so beautiful. Definitely looks like it could be like a deal dress, like deal print or some kind of designer that is just elevated rather than Zara. It's in a small, this one. And again, this one's got a quite a thick waist belt obviously you can put your own belt with it i quite like this one that comes with it gorgeous like wedding guest dress i feel i feel like if you're going to a wedding this would be beautiful next up i got this dress oh yeah i remember this one the model had it and it looked quite like big on her and i quite liked the fact that it looked a bit looser so i got this one in a medium it has got a gathered bit at the back though and a zip up side for that stretchability. This is just gonna be a simple day dress. You could wear it as a beach dress. The fact that it's long as well, you could definitely dress it up. Quite a few things. I didn't realize how many things I ordered. <laughs> it's quite a big haul. Oh yeah, this is a two piece, I think. So it comes with this skirt with like a knot tie at one side, a kind of like wrap style. Oh, beautiful. I love that. I'm gonna really struggle to send some of these things back. The top part is in a small and it's got this knot detail again, this gathered waist. So you've got kind of like two piece number. I feel like this in summer is gonna be gorgeous. I'm liking everything. I feel like Zara killing it recently. I've got both of these in a small. Hmm, we'll see how I go with the small for the bottom, but yeah, love that. This was, I wasn't sure about this. I saw it on the model and I was like, am I gonna love that? Am I gonna hate it? Firstly, there's a makeup mark on it, so I'm not gonna love that. But this is in a small. And it's a bit more affordable. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this. It's essentially like got two tiers to it. So the top part is like a shirt material layered over this essentially like tube dress in this ribbed fabric. Oh, I got this trench. This I remember was quite expensive. So I remember looking at it, loving it, thinking in person I'm going to have to love it. So I'll have to style this up and see how I feel. But it's like a brown linen trench coat trench coat or like pea coat kind of it's like quite oversized they just wore it like loose and open as a layer for like over a nice white summer's dress or something oh, what size did i get it in small oh wow it's quite oversized already so you definitely don't need to size up with that one i'm looking at the box now there's quite a lot of like green left to show you so i'll show you this one this is like a knit dress in a small quite affordable this one and it does come with a tie waist but it's just literally like a piece of string in the same fabric so obviously you could belt it yourself, but I just quite liked the fact that it was buttoned down all the way with a slit at the bottom so you can, I think they styled it again like quite undone. So it was more skin on show. Super soft knit that one. Then I got this cord, and this is feeling a little too thin for my liking. So it's a pair of leggings and crop top kind of lounge style outfit. Obviously you could wear this as just like a little bra. I quite like the shape of it, but it does feel quite thin really thin in fact. I think I'll probably send that one back, but um, medium to large, I got the top in and the bottoms. It's a beautiful color. I just, yeah, medium to large as well. Oh, that looks too big. Wow, it's a small. Okay, maybe not. It's like a silky satiny vest top, this one. I remember they had this in a couple of colors. There was like a neutral color that I really liked the look of, but I feel like that size down in that one or, you know, like I'm glad I didn't go for a medium. Small will probably be fine, but um, just a simple little vest top. I feel like the satiny texture to it makes it a little bit, a little bit dressier. And then I also got these paper bag, carrot leg, ankle rigid, baggy fit trousers. So these ones I got in a 12. I'm not a big fan of this button that comes with it because it's very gold. I feel like when gold comes across that yellowy, it looks a bit cheaper. The last clothing item, I do have some shoes and obviously the homework bits, but the last clothing item I have is this jumpsuit. Again, love the color. Don't love the gold buttons. I wish they were a bit more muted, but oh well. Really, really pretty kind of silhouette shape to this, um, like boiler suit style jumpsuit almost with nice big pockets. Very comfy casual. It's like a linen-y fabric, so quite thin as well, good for summer. And I got that one in a small. So I spotted these. I think these were in, in fact, I think a lot of these things were in the special price section. You know where they sometimes discount them, but just temporarily. I mm, don't know if I love that color. It's a bit orangey. Um, but plain court shoe with a kind of cutout section here, which I think is quite flattering. 
and the pads are what looks to be cushioned as well. They only had a six and I'm like a six and a half, so we'll see how I go with them. Oh, actually, when it's on, it's, it's quite a nice color. <laughs> when it's on. Anyway, let's share with you some homeware bits that I also got. I still stand by the fact that I think the Zara do fragrances really well. Not only perfume fragrances, duping the higher end brands, but also home fragrance. Some of my favorite strongest reed diffusers I've had in the past have been Zara. So I got this one, our newly renovated downstairs. It's still currently being worked on, but I thought this would be really nice in our new downstairs loom. Fig ombre, black currant floral fig leaves. I feel like I need to show you the bottle. The reeds are just like a natural reed, and then that is what the bottle looks like. So yeah, really nice kind of green glass. Love the labeling as well. I just think their branding team just nail it with some of their fragrance is honestly so gorgeous. I did also spot this and thought I would pick it up to give it a try. Again, I love the aesthetics of it on a laundry shelf and our utility. I think it would look lovely just out. But this is their laundry detergent. And I liked the look of this because it claims to be the first detergent designed to reduce microfibers shedding from textiles. Yet again, another home centered product. And that when I open this box, wow, the scent just hit me. So these, are in ombre musk and they are scent like how beautiful is that packaging by the way musk cashmere wood leather tonka beans and ylang ylang you get two pieces in here they do several different scents wow they smell so good and strong as well just little like pockets little le um, linen sachets that you can pop in like wardrobes or gym drawers or whatever i kind of want to see if you can pick up the ombre musk scent in some kind of a spray that i can maybe prolong the life of these wow really good i've got a couple of bits for the new kitchen which i still am so excited to like fully style up organize label honestly gets me so excited this is a brand new kitchen roll holder. The one that we've got was like a black metal one and some of the metal bits been like scraped off and it's like chipping. So anyway, I thought I'll pick up a fresh one. I thought I would go with like an acacia wood, which Zara do so well, because as you can tell, it's not like orangey. It's not too dark. Sorry if you can hear all the drilling going on behind me. I'd rather them be here and cracking on and working these builders, but wow, do they make a noise? And then I also picked up a garlic press. So again, we had like an old manky one that needed, needed going to be honest with you. So I thought I would treat us to a nice Zara home one. I quite like this one, but again, that kind of acacia wooded handle, and then you've got the Zara home branding on the side. I also got a couple of cleaning sponges. Again, these always are ones that are practical but also look quite nice so if you just want to leave something out like we've got like our sink area with the drain hole so what i might do is pop like a um a tray there with like a hand soap and hand wash but then also something like a linen towel or something with like a bar of soap and this or like dishwasher dishwashing up fluid whatever what dishwasher fluid liquid like fairy washing up, washing up liquid, you know. Anyway, yeah, I thought these would look quite nice out as well. They've got like a two-tone texture with the abrasive side here and then the spongy side here. I know a few of you were actually saying oh, um, the scrub daddies that I've got, I said it would be nice to have a white one. I did find one white one, but it came with a paste. So I know they exist, but to be honest with you, the price of them is no different to them anyway. And I think they look nicer than like the scrub daddies. Not that I'm anti-scrub daddy, because I do love my scrub daddy, scrub mommy. So that one was spun on the other side, but anyway. Wow, I really rant about cleaning supplies a bit too much. So this is a laundry bag. Is it set of two though? Yeah, it's a pack of two. These are really handy for going away just to take with you so that you can pop your dirty laundry in there or just separate things. So if you've got like a swimming cozy that you want to pop in that one, I'm actually going to my parents this weekend and mum and I are booked in for spa day. So I'll take this for like a spare change of like underwear and my cosy in one. Then I've got this jute bag. I have to insert an image from the website of what this is. Cause obviously you can't really tell from here, but essentially these jute sacks, they come in two different sizes, I think. 
They're good for popping around like a plant pot. Say if you've got like a faux olive tree that doesn't need watering or something and you want something around the base so that you don't just see the ugly pots. I'm gonna show you these without dropping them. Lastly, I got these two tin kind of containers in this beautiful creamy color. So I have one like this with laundry powder or something written on it that I use for my laundry tabs but it started to chip quite a lot. It's not from Zara, it was from one of the bargain homeware stores anyway. So I thought it'd be quite good to freshen, freshen it up and switch out for a new one. So I did get this for that. But I did also pick up the larger one. Can you see that you can pop a label in as well if you want to. But yeah, I did also pick up the large one because I thought this in the pantry will actually be quite useful as either like a bread bin or just for storage for things that, if I'm, especially our larder unit, which has like the coffee machine maker and everything in and the spice wraps on the door, I want it to look nice at least in there because quite often we'll have it open whilst making coffees and things. So yeah, in there I want things to be organized, look nice. And I thought something like this will help make things look less cluttered or like I say, bread bin or something. But yeah, this one's gonna be like on show in the larger unit probably. So I wanted it to look nice. And yeah, I love the Zara ones. Love the color of them. Such a rich creamy color. So yeah, that is everything that I got. Let me know which were your favorites that I tried on. And of course, thank you once again to Halara for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out by the links that I'll leave in my description box along with using my discount code FreyaF15, which will get you 15% off full price items. I know you're gonna love them just as much as I do. I honestly, you know how much I talk about my leggings? Try Halara. Anyway, thank you to them for working with me. Thanks to you guys for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.